this video is to set up the field tab. So we're going to use row 1 and enter the field names across the page that you believe will be in your program. Now I've entered some here already. We'll go back to cell, the first cell. I always start with ID, capital ID, which is going to be a number. I'll explain shortly. Then things like a last name, a program name, a start date, an end date, gender, age, could be many different things. And now I come to a cell where I want to put in two words. In this case, it's contribution amount. It might be the cost to a attend a program. But you can see here that I've been able to put the two words on two separate lines in the one cell. So I'm going to explain a tip how to do that. If we want to start afresh, I'll tick key in the word contribution. And instead of putting a space and entering the next word alongside it, which would make cell H rather long and large, I'm keying Alt, holding it down, and then keying Enter. And it'll put the cursor to the second line of the cell. I'll key in the second word. word then hit enter and you'll see that the two words are in the same cell but sitting on separate lines. Continue on keying in all of your field names and in the same fashion as we did in tip number one. The next part of setting up the field tab uh, I like to choose all of row two and just make sure that it's a different color not black maybe a red cell so that it highlights that we're using this particular tab page to set up the fields and in this row we're going to enter the names of the types of data that are going to be used so ID will be a number just simply key the word number last name is a text field it's going to be freeform text the program name is the first of some very special cells this is valid data and I will explain that shortly we'll go to the next cell start date is a date end date is a date gender is uh, valid data age is a number contribution amount is a number referral source will be valid data so continue that way until we know all of the fields that will contain valid data why is this important it's important because if I look at this particular field program name the only choices of valid data will be in this particular case that I've pre-entered four different program names Art Healing Program, Digital Stories, Healing Workshop, Youth Camp and I'm going to show you that technique in one of my tips. That's all there is to the field set up at this stage so the next video will be on setting up the Person Details tab